small scabious mining bees are part of the biggest group of bees we have in the UK known as the mining bees. So this means that they create these nests where they drill a tunnel down into the ground, so they burrow in, and they create these little chambers off of this tunnel. And then they lay eggs in each of these chambers and they go out and collect pollen from devil's bit scabious and nectar from other flowers and they create these nectary pollen balls for their eggs to eat when they hatch. So they don't have this social structure, they're solitary bees, they don't have a family to help them along the way. You can see small scabious mining bee flying in around August, September time, depending on when the devil's bit scabious comes out. So this year, the bee came out a little bit earlier because we had a really hot summer. The flower came out sooner and so did the bee. In Scotland, small scabious mining bee only forages from devil's bit scabious for its pollen, but it goes to a range of other plants for its nectar. And the pollen is its protein and the nectar is its carbohydrate source. The way that you can tell small scabious mining bees apart from other mining bees is by looking at its hind legs. When the female's out foraging, she's only collecting devil's bit scabious pollen, and so the hind legs are covered in this white pollen, so it looks like her hind legs have got these white fluffy trousers on them. Another thing to look out for is they have this orangey color on their abdomen. They're also quite a slim bee species, so they're quite slim and quite small and dainty. And the last thing is they have this goldeny hair on their thorax. So one of the reasons that small scabious mining bee might be so rare now is because we've lost 97% of our wildflower meadows in the UK since World War II. The other thing is that we just don't know much about this species. It's very under-recorded, there's not a lot of people looking for it. So it's one of the species in the project where we really need to learn more about it to fully understand its status. So one of the ways that we can try and help small scabious mining bee is by cutting less grass and allowing Scottish wildflowers to grow a bit more. So yeah, working with landowners and trying to get Scottish flora to be popular again. <laughs>